All right, welcome back to MLB Now. What about starting pitchers, Ron Darling? Look at this. Andy Pettit and Mark Burley not getting an awful lot of play. A little bit of support. Pettit, uh, again, he, he has such a, a – so much going on in his postseason. But he led his teams to championships. Uh, the most innings ever in the postseason. That's the idea, to win rounds, to win championships. Pettit did that. Uh, Mark Burley, 14 straight years with 200 innings. There's immense value. If you think of yourself as a, a club president or a GM, Mark, you're, and you think, hey, I'm going to draft this guy, you're going to get 200 innings for essentially 15 years. That's immense value. It feels like kind of Hall of Fame level. And it's not like he was just out there holding it down, won a championship, was outstanding, barely stayed on the ballot. Also feels like kind of a dinosaur mentality in terms of today's game. You right. don't expect 200 innings from a guy one year, let alone 15 straight years. And I think to me, when you see a guy like Burley, a guy like Pettit, and what they were able to do over that kind of uh, longevity innings, I mean, 3,300 innings in a career uh, of, of 117 ERA plus, very impressive. Both of them right around the 60 war number. Both of them won World Series. Obviously, Pettit won five of them. Uh, you know, 256 wins. I know we like to sort of, you know, Kill wins is not a but, but career wins you gotta you gotta, you gotta get them still a yeah. number but right. we are not gonna see very many if any pitchers of this generation going forward true. ever get to that's right. true go ahead Ronnie well I, I just think that um, we've done a really good job with all the information that we have transitioning to be able to really evaluate the everyday players I think we're still stuck in a vortex and how we are evaluating pitchers I mean we're talking about a future where wins are not going to even play a part in how you judge right, you're not maybe a, there. a starting yeah. pitcher. Because you could have one of the best starting pitchers in the game. DeGrom is, is a guy I mentioned who's not even at 100 wins yet mm -hmm. in his career. Um, innings pitched, I think, is a big statistic for me. Um, starts, starts per year. Um, the, the other thing, and it's almost like World War II, when you look at the back or the baseball reference for a pitcher, you will see a year, year, gone for two years and then back because of the surgeries and the injuries mm. you'll see pitchers just disappear for a couple of years so I think it's really hard for us right now to we're having a hard time evaluating these really talented uh, players well again last time this might be surprising because I, I still have fresh in my head Maddox Glavin Randy Johnson yeah. John Smoltz Pedro getting into the whole thing the last time uh, a, a guy got in on the writer's ballot was 2019 the starting pitcher last time a starting pitcher got in on the writer's ballot 2019 and then like Mike Messina getting in with uh, Roy Halladay Jim Cott going in Jack Morris going in with the Veterans Committee uh, but it it seems to be like we have these incredibly high standards and then look ahead Bartolo Colon hits the ballot next year then King Felix that's interesting CC Sabathia seems to be getting Hall of Fame traction yeah when you admit not I, I, look he's had glorious moments I think it's a it's a pretty good sell Cole Hamels then Jake Arrieta John Lester John Lester's got I, almost like you have to look at John Lester and say wait adjust for the modern age there's a guy again I'm gonna use a guy you know clutch winning titles winning rounds of playoffs I wonder if we have to make an adjustment there I think CeCe and Lester are two guys who are going to get serious consideration for what they did for their teams in the postseason, obviously longevity in the regular season. But after that, I think we're going dry for a little while. I think it's going to take Justin Verlander, Clayton Kershaw, Max Scherzer, Zach Greinke as the next four right. after that list we just saw. That almost hurts these guys now because you're saying, oh, no, no, well, there's, there's, there's old school guys, Scherzer, Verlander, yeah. Kershaw. Yeah, okay, so there's, there's, the, there's the, the Glavin and the, the big unit of their day, right? It's, but there's not a ton of guys like that. It's almost nobody. We do the top ten right now for pitchers. That's Soon right. there will be nobody like that. Yeah, it's interesting you say that because you look at those guys, but you're talking about the gladiators, Verlander and Scherzer, who yeah. are locked to go in. And when compared to other guys that are trying or on the cusp of getting in, uh, they get seem to somehow get diminished. Those uh, numbers are absurdly absurd. high, by the way. ERA plus 100 is league average. 157 is a, if it's not number one, it's right there with Pedro, right? yeah. Pedro Martinez. So 135, 132. And those guys now, are the, you're talking high innings. Verlander going over 3,000 innings. Cy Young Awards. Zach Greinke, I think, should get in yeah. as well. It's marvelous numbers. But those are extremely high. Just want to point we, that out. You know, we've undervalued. Valued uh, the relief pitcher Mark Topkin was saying that and we've devalued the starting pitcher because of the way the game is played um, even your greatest starting pitcher is going to be in there for two thirds of the game with one third maybe the most important third right. left eight guys this year had 200 innings 
eight. eight. That's it. So when I look at Burley, it's different. Can we run up, put up the Andy Pettit board before we step aside? I just want to throw this in. He had 44 starts in the postseason. As we start playing more and more tournament baseball, I think we start valuing what a guy's postseason starts are. He had a few clunkers in his 276 innings. Oh, I know not that. Gonna but have how about one. Mark Fine said 14 starts, one earned run or zero. 14 postseason starts. I know I've said this before. I covered those teams for 16 years, and you would talk to players players on those teams when they had Roger Clemens, Mike Musita, David Wells, El Duque, and you'd say, CC Sabathia, which one of these guys do you want on the mound in the must-win game? Andy Pettit was the answer 90% of the time. Uh, uh, 23, 23 times, two runs or fewer. You're, you're, you're winning that game. Yeah, it may yeah. be a tie, maybe go later, something like that, but you're essentially winning that game. And once you win that round and then you win that championship and he's got five, Five, they're in the books. That's the idea. See, I'm getting it back to Bernie Williams. Every time. That's, the well. That's the idea. That's the idea to win it all. And these and no one is doing that again the way That's those right. Yankees did. It's not happening again.